Hello, Bitwig certified end user and professional DJ, Vic Vapor with you, and welcome to my Bitwig Studio 2.3 course. Before we get started, I just want to say if it's the first time you're visiting the Martini Lounge channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell and we'll see you inside. Hello, welcome back. Uh, let's take a look in this video at a closer relationship between the clip launcher and the arrange um, panel. So there's a unique relationship that they share and I wanna help you guys understand that. So in the previous uh, video, we brought in a loop here. We brought in audio uh, loop and drug it uh, from our browser over and dropped it and got it looping and got it playing back. But now I wanna add another piece of audio right here, another loop. So a couple ways I can do that. I can do it like we did it previously. I can just click here, drag and drop. But let's say I don't wanna use the browser panel. So let me see, Alt B, no, yeah, Alt B. Had to get my fingers right there. Alt B on the keyboard hides it. And then if I go here and select this clip and just hit the letter B by itself on my keyboard, I get a contextual menu that pops up. Now I can go ahead and browse whatever device or audio or whatever I want right here within uh, this menu. So let's go ahead and back to where we were, Beatport Sounds. I think we were in this dirty break. So I'm just gonna grab a random one here, this guy here. Now we begin to hear it, you know, audition just like before. So it plays back and you know I can stop it. So let's say that's the one I want. I don't have to grab it, click, hold, and drag and drop now. Now that it's selected and we're in this contextual menu, contextual menu, I just hit OK. And boom, there it is. Now we've got two different loops available to playback right here. So let's go ahead and audition these. And then I'll play the second one. And you can see there that once I had the first one playing and I hit play on the second one, the first one stopped. And that's a really important concept in this video that I wanna share with you is within this audio channel and within this clip launcher, only one clip will play at a time in that fashion. So how do we take these two clips and make them an eight bar loop, you know, for us to be able to play back continuously without one stopping the other? Well, the way we wanna do that is we wanna record it into our arranger panel. <coughs> Excuse me. And in order for us to record it in our arranger panel, I'll hit the stop button. Again, when, when a clip's playing, let me hit play on that. When a clip's playing, I can stop it here on this square, or I can stop the whole entire project right here. And double clicking brings me back to the front. So let's get these guys recorded into our arranger. I'll hit the record button. It's armed, ready to go. It's just waiting for me to uh, launch a clip to be recorded. So we'll launch the first one and you can see it beginning to be recorded right there for us. And I will launch the second one. And there's our second clip being recorded. And I'll prepare to stop it here. And we've got eight bars. I'll hit my space bar, which stops the playhead and the stop button will bring it back to the front. So there it is, there's four bars of the first clip, and four bars of the second clip, giving, giving us an eight bar loop in our arranger panel. So let's go ahead and play this and take a listen to what we've got. Well, that's weird, what's going on? I can see it, but it's not, I can't hear it. I don't understand what's going on. Well, what's happening here is, now that we've recorded into the arrange panel, we still have the clip launch panel as the active panel of our workflow. We need to make the arrange panel active. And there's a couple ways we can do that. We can use this guy up the top, these little lines in the square up top, which would make the whole entire arrange panel active, you know, as far as if we have other clips or other material here that we want to hear. Or since we're just working with this one channel, I can simply select this guy. Now it becomes brighter and highlight, highlighted, showing us that it's active. So now I should be able to hear that material once I hit play. And you can see the clips are no longer playing because now we're working out of the arrange uh, panel. So 
So that is a quick look at how the clip launcher and the arrange timeline and range panel kind of what relationship they have and how they kind of work together. Let's go ahead and move on to our, our next video.